How about that for a view? It looks lovely, doesn't it? Well, human rights experts have been raising concerns over a billion-dollar tourism project on the Indonesian island, which is dubbed the New Bali, because more than 200 families have been forced to move to make way for resorts and an international Grand Prix motorcycle circuit. PBC Indonesia's Valjia Baraputri has taken a look at this controversial development. The beaches of South Lombok have long attracted tourists, particularly surfers. But now the Indonesian government wants mass tourism here. I'm standing on a decades-long plan of the Indonesian government of turning this area into a luxurious tourism complex. This is the Grand Prix circuit area. As you can see, there's still work to be done here. But the government says this area will be ready for a World Superbike event in a few months' time and a MotoGP International in 2022. To make this possible, over 200 families from the indigenous Sasa community were forced out. This used to be surfing instructor Damar's house. I'm utterly broken hearted. We have given up our land. I'm crushed for years. I tried to build my village. The circuit project has destroyed all of my work. The United Nations Office of Human Rights says the project tramples on human and environmental rights, accusing the Indonesian government of using threats and intimidation. And what is really very troubling is that the work has started without the families being actually relocated, resettled in adequate conditions. They will be um, in temporary settlements without means of livelihood, without an ability to make a decent living. And that is just not acceptable. The state-owned developer insists they have paid fair compensation and says the UN critics have failed to show evidence of land grabbing. It's an attempt to give Indonesia a bad name. We paid the locals as much as we could, even though the tourism industry is experiencing a surf slump at the moment. A total of 96 million US dollars have been paid to the locals to fulfill their rights. Developers have built this new village around two kilometers from the project. But families like Ernie say there is no land to farm there. There is no space for our cows at the new place. It's difficult to get grass. Honestly, I'm really upset. We have no power. We'll have to move. We have no voice because we just poor people. Surfing instructor Damar's only hope now is that he'll be able to get a job in this new world of mass tourism. God forbid, when the construction's finished, we only become the spectator in our own home. Jakarta says this is about bringing economic development, but locals fear it will only benefit a few at the top. Valdia Baraputri, BBC News, Lombok. We'll do stay with us here at BBC News. Coming up.